Hi everyone, in this tutorial we will model a perfume bottle very similar to this one, only enough made by Kia, the car company. I think it's a good way to get into the basics of plasticity in a practical way. Now just one second so I can quickly toggle back the overlays and right click show edges and let's get to it. So new file, yes, first of all control S to save it and I will put it on the desktop with, uh, we will need to get rid of this default cube, just like in Blender with four. So one, two, three, four on the keyboard to toggle between control point, edge, face and body selection, select it, X to delete it. Now you see that the grid here is very, very small. That's because I changed it here in preferences. By set setting it to millimeter, grid size 120 and, and accent lines every 10. You could also change the, the way you navigate here if you are more familiar with uh, Blender or I leave it at default for now. To start, I'm going to need one circle and start from the origin point. And you see that the, it says here the size. So I'm going to press tab, type 50 and Enter to confirm. With edge select, I'm going to E to extrude it and put here 50. So since this is going to be half, the total bottle is going to be 10 centimeters tall by five in diameter. To add a fillet, with edge selection, I'm going to need to select this and create a face here with this option, patch holes, long edges. Enter to confirm. Now with edge selection again, if I click, it just uh, works like that. If you don't remember exactly, for example, the size of this cylinder, you just click here and it, uh, it will automatically cover that nicely for you. Enter again to confirm and let's switch to this view. And uh, I'm going to cut it. I was thinking to cut it at two thirds of this uh, size. That's 16.66 something, so I will I will round it to 17 millimeters. So I'm going to grab a line, enable snap to grid here. Since it's at one millimeter, it should work fine. Uh, I'm going to start from this point and tab 17, enter, enter, grab again, align, go this way, enter. Let's remove this one with X and select this one, C, select this body, enter. And now it's, if we go to with four to body selection, we could remove just this part. Edge selection with two, select this, remove. And uh, we are good to go. Let's push this at the top. And since I was uh, mentioning earlier that it's going to be 10 centimeters, I'm going to need to move this whole thing up a bit with object, select it, grab Z and put it here, enter and should be good to go. For this curved section here, it's going to be five uh, millimeters tall. So one in one in total to the middle point. So first I'm going to grab this and and uh, extend down by eight millimeters. So it's at the axis. Hold click here, select control point curve. And I'm going to start it not here, but one out. So when uh, I add some thickness to it, I can I can do a bevel. You you'll get why in a second. So I'm going to click here, going to the middle, click here, one, two, three, four, five. So here and another click here, enter to confirm. Now um, I'm going to press E to extrude this, going to something like this. It doesn't really matter the, the dimension, but obviously it needs to, to go both ways. Now at this point, if I bring back the reference, you notice that the plastic here is, it's, uh, 
over the metal, it's not inside the, the metal part. And I tried before with one millimeter, it seems to be a bit too thick. So I'm going to do 0.8 now. And for this, you don't want to, to take this, uh, this part and extrude it down because uh, with, with how the cards work at, at the middle, it's not going to be eight millimeters. So for it to be even, what we are going to do is select it, press F, type here, thick, thick and sheet. Oh, uh, we selected the curve, so X to delete the curve, we don't need it anymore. Again, F. And I'm going to put it 0.8. But you see that it's going up, so instead I'm going to put minus 0.8. And now it's going to, to go down. Perfect, just what we want. Now to, to Boolean, we select it both of these things, Q and Shift Q, enter. So now we will be able to just delete this with X and also delete this with X because we don't need it anymore. And the intersection here, you see that it leaves, um, it leaves another part. So delete that. And now we have this part and this part which is what we wanted. Now, um, moving on to, to this middle section, I'm going to grab another circle, click here on the middle, and you see that it's going this way, so just press V, and it turns it 90 degrees. And I'm going to make it, let's say, tab 35 millimeters. Could be more, it could be less, it's uh, really up to you. Now, if um, here's a bit tricky, if if you select this with edge selection and this, press L and switch to zero, you see that the shape is a bit strange. Let's say you see this curve here, so we need some sort of guide, uh, some sort of guiding lines to make it go nicely. So to add that, I'm going to add the control point curve starting here somewhere around here let's let's quit the the grid part and let's do something something okay why is not working since it's not giving us a snapping point there we are going to create it ourselves so go to this uh, back way, the back part with the y axis, draw a line on the and add it on the on the axis. See this one, enter. So now we just cut that in, in two. I'm going to delete that uh, for now with uh, four. I'm going to join this together again, so J to join, but at least it's, it's still going to have this uh, part there. Now, if we go back, it should, should, yes, uh, enable us to, to snap there. So with these curves, it's up to you really how, or how you want to do it, but I'm, I'm going to go almost straight, but just a bit curved. So something like this, or if you want to edit it, you just go Press one and go to control point, select it, G, G, and move it around. Let's say something like this should be fine. On the other side, same thing, hold, control point curve. Let's say about here. And that should be fine. Now, if we go with press two to edge select, select this one and this one. You see that it's only half selected, so I'm going to Alt, hold Alt and, and uh, click it so it selects the whole thing. Shift, select this one, L to loft, nothing happens, but press here G0 and now it's uh, connecting. We have this weird thing here, but if you hold Shift and click on this edge, it's going to use that as a guide. Hold Shift, click also on this one, and it's also uh, fixing on that side. 
presenter. Um, now looking at it from this side, I'm guessing it wouldn't hurt to have another um, couple of edges here. So Control Z until you get to that point. And let's add it. Okay, and now so you saw that I limited it on the Z axis so it goes flat and I can just grab it now and move it about here. Now this one it should be the same on the other side, so I'm just going to select it, Alt X, press here and enter. Should should connect, hopefully. <laughs> Yeah, let's see. Okay, so now if we remove, if we redo again what we did before, L, G0, holding shift, click, 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 and click. Okay. Now it should be, should be a bit, a bit better from all the, from all sides. Since we don't need the curves anymore, I'm going to just X them and let's add some some details because this is basically basically done. So you see that I have here sheets instead of instead of solids and um, and if I want to add a bevel in between these two, it's not going to allow me. So I'm going to hide this, hide this. So so it doesn't uh, confuse the program which I'm selecting. Go to edge selection and push the hole here. Then these two, let's patch it at the top. Okay, should be fine. And with this one, we only need to patch it to, to add a patch on the on the bottom, and we could. If we want so J to merge them into just one. So now we have um top section middle middle one and then we are going to mirror it after adding some bevels and um, so let's start with uh, with here with the top. I'm going to to make it let's say five and five and let's say g2 continuity or, or conic hmm. let's see from the side if it's noticeable what do you think uh, conic or or g2 okay let's go with uh, g2 let's let's go wild uh, on this part here in the middle i'm going to add instead of a um, of a fillet, I'm going to do a chamfer. So that's just going on the other side. You see that it's it's flat. And this one I'm going to put minus point one and minus point one. So it's barely noticeable, but still you clearly see uh, something there that's uh, like a division. Same thing here, minus point point one and minus point one. Did this work? Why didn't it work? Okay, so let's try again. Interesting, no, well, at least it, uh, it's fine now. On this one, I'm going to to go with the chamfer a bit, with more maybe 0.5 again, 0.5, and I'm going to also use uh, G2 here, and for the middle, since the top and uh, the the cup and the base. 
are going to be touching together, but we still want to, to show some sort of um, separation between them. I'm also going to add a, a little chamfer here. Let's do minus point three and minus point three, or maybe not even minus, because if we look at the reference, now if we look at the reference again, um, it seems that uh, it's not that. It seems that it's, it has a bit of curve based on how the light bounces here. So I'm going to do a, a fillet instead of the, the other one. Let's say 1, 1, G2, OK. I think, I think we are uh, basically done. So to mirror it, I'm going to select both of them, Alt X. Click here on the green part, enter, and that's uh, that's basi basically our our um, our shape. Let's take a look with with another math cap here, and disabling this. I think it looks gorgeous. Now, one thing is you could have put G two here if you don't want this line to be so noticeable. But again, if we go to the reference, you see that it's it's noticeable here. So I'm guessing they use the same as we or a conic shape. Also, if you try with G2, I tried, uh, I couldn't cut it with a line and I had to create a box and uh, like a solid and cut it with a solid instead of with the line to, to not get an error. So next uh, I'm going to go to Blender and create a nice render of it. Uh, let me know in the comments if you would like to, to also see that. Uh, I hope this was useful to you in some way. If, if so, please uh, leave it a like and subscribe for more. Thanks for watching. Until next time, take care.